So we would like more schools with tables turned on their end so that you can balance things. Um, first of all, thanks for letting us go last because we know that means that you're paying attention because you've never heard any of this before. Um, but what we've got here is we've got um, a good symbol and a metaphor. And what we tried to focus in on, um, instead of thinking about the physical space, we tried to think of the mental space of the learner. Um, and so if you're looking at the big screen, it, it's very clear. But when you're looking at ours, um, so learner is just a few short letters away from teacher. So we figure if we keep it as a learner-centered problem, we're actually focusing on a teacher-centered problem since teachers are learners too. And so if we can keep that in mind, what we've got is we've got a great big giant jellyfish up here. And for those of you who know a lot about jellyfish, which we just learned a lot while Googling it, um, they don't have brains, so ignore that part. But what you've got... <laughs> <clears throat> but what you've got here <clears throat> is you have this little creature who lives in the ocean and doesn't have a lot of control over some of the stuff in the ocean. Um, the technology that's available, the health care that the jellyfish has, um, its safety, its family, the kind of food that it's going to find. But what it does have control over is everything that it can grab in its tentacles. Right, yeah, that's the word. Um, everything that it can grab in its tentacles. And so those are the things that we've got to sort of keep in mind while we're thinking about the space, is we've got to provide a good, clean space where they can grab a hold of all of these things. Because as soon as a jellyfish grabs a hold of something, it consumes it, right? It just consumes it and moves on and looks for the next thing to grab and eat, which is how students learn these days. Um, and so a jellyfish is transparent. You can see through it. A jellyfish is flexible. There's two different kinds of jellyfish, those that go where the current takes them and those that hunt their food. Kind of sums up two different kinds of learners. Um, they've, they, they all have movement, though. They all have movement. They're all going somewhere. It's just a pacing issue of how quickly some of them get to where they're going. And then just some of the uh, sort of key things that we've gotten here, it's that it's important that, um, that they're able to grab a hold of um, the idea of questioning, of being able to come up with a good question and asking that question, of being able to problem solve, of being able to be a citizen in the big jellyfish community. Um, some jellyfish eat each other. We just learned that, which is kind of sad. Um, <laughs> And uh, some self-advocacy, uh, different literacies and communications, um, being able to both uh, speak and, um, or create and consume. Um, but so just the, the general idea, we, we started to design a school, um, and then they yelled at me. So, so, we, so we wadded that up and threw it away. And came up with this sort of, just if we keep focused on these things, um, if we keep focused that learners and teachers are the same, and that, um, they need to, to consume a variety of different things in a pretty um, unknown and um, ever-moving ocean environment, then whatever we design is going to be perfect. So that's it.